work-related phone call on Monday, October 26, 2020. Our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom, answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today we are blessed to present the insightful call conference entitled We All Have a Duty to Protect Ourselves and Others, Part 6 of 6 on Between Master and Disciples, given in English. Warning, you might find the content herein disturbing, but the truth must be revealed. Master previously mentioned that spider are postmen. If allowed, could Master talk about the role of other animals? Okay. I cannot go on forever. There are, you know, how many million species on this planet? Yes. <laughs> millions. So. Yeah. Millions at least, yeah? Yes. Okay. So, surprise to say that all animals, they have their roles to play, okay? Yes. And they help and bless our planet, our people in every way, in their capacity, you know, like uh, big or small. Hmm? Yes, yes, Master. The spider is their duty to do the, uh, how you say, the post, okay? <laughs> I understand. If you go out and the spider just drops in front of you, for example, if they come in your house, then you must uh, pay attention to what they tell you. But I guess most humans are telepathically deaf. Yes. So they can hear nothing. And if the, the spider drops right in front of you when you go outside, sometimes they are from the tree or from the tall or somewhere, they drop in front of you with their silky thread, then they want it to tell you something. Oh. But it's useless to tell you or anybody. They hear nothing. Unless they... Only I hear it. And some, some people do hear. But very rare, very few, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Very few people still have this uh, telepathic, Capability, okay? Yes. 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 I didn't have it before. I was even blocked from that also, so that yeah. I knew nothing. <laughs> Only sometimes I knew something, but not... Now it's different, okay? Yes, yes. Master. Yes. Now, if I have time, if I pay attention, then I hear. I hear. If they want to tell me something, then I know. Okay, huh? Okay, thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. They come sometimes even to comfort me, not to bring any news. I just say, like, please don't cry, don't be sad. You know? Yes. Be patient. Something like that. Be happy. Be peace. Yeah. Something like that. This morning, a little spider came, told me that. It's about uh, this big, you know, this round. All together, <laughs> counted the, the legs, of course. <laughs> and small one, even small one. Yesterday, this a little one like this, like uh, the head of the chopstick, also mm -hmm. told me something. Wow. <laughs> Uh, because the divinity uses them to give messages to me. But I'm not sure if the divinity gives messages to other people or they just have their own telepathic instinct to tell the humans, okay? Yes, yes Master. Yes. Some good humans, they will come and give uh, messages. But uh, most of them don't understand, don't know, don't hear, don't see. It's lucky that they don't even squash them dead. Yes. See what I'm saying? Yes, 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 That's why I tell you, I feel very sorry for the spiders and others who try to come to give messages to other beings. They, they catch them or they squash them dead or, you know, I mean, they might step on them or they might close the door and squash them in between, whatever. Yes. yes. They risk their lives just because they have to do it, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Master. They also like to. In many cases, they like to because it's a good person. In some cases, they don't lie because that person is not good. And they know they're going to die. Oh, wow. That person will squash them. Or oh, wow. like that. But they still do it. Yeah. yeah, I tell you, all the animals are a blessing for our world. Even some animals kill some humans. I'm sorry to say, but the human is supposed to die that way. It's not the animal's fault. Oh, I remember one elephant when I went try to kill other people because they kill her baby. Aww. Yeah, uh, harass and torture their baby to train with a very brutal way, you know, beating her up, let her cry and break her will to subdue, you know, and, and make her repeat things. And if she doesn't know and she can't, then beat her up or 
or cut her with knives and stuff like that. Yes. Yes. And then the baby elephant died, so the mother got mad. Yes, ma'am. Yes. And went out in revenge. That is very rare occasion, yeah? Yes. yes. Or even sometimes the plastic peaceful cow also chased one human and killed that person because they had enough, okay? Yes, Maybe yes, that yes. person had killed their calf or, or tortured them in some sadistic way. Some people are very sadistic. They don't just kill, they torture. And the experiments with live animals to teach the children or in the laboratory, these are also sadistic, should be banned forever already from yesterday. Yes, 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 yes. I cannot emphasize enough. Our world um, has many sadistic groups of people or, or, or policies. Stupid, idiot, brutal, cruel, evil policies that has to be banned, has to be forbidden. Yes. Yes. Until our world becomes even better. Yes. If our world were to become better. Not just about killing the animals in the slaughterhouse, it's in laboratories as well. Yes. Yes. They don't just kill, they torture them. Like vivisection and all that. Oh, God. Okay, next one, please. In the last conference, Master talked about planets being created. Yes. And karma begins to form again and again. Is there a point where planets don't go through the cycle anymore? They evolve to higher level and don't go backwards. Depends on the humans, yeah? Yes. All the gods is in heaven and are helping really frantically. Otherwise, the planet will be gone. But the humans are still clinging to their own even piece of meat which they can put down any time. For their taste, they don't mind if the planet goes down, if their children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren live in inferno. They don't mind if, if the pandemic going on. They don't mind if the world is going down under. For that piece of meat in their mouth, they don't mind, they don't care. They pretend they don't understand, they pretend they don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Master. So it depends on all the human race, what they're doing, okay? Yes, yes Master. Master. So the doctor can tell people to take medicine, but they cannot force them to take medicine if they don't want. Yes, if they want to die. Yes, yes. yes. Until they're too poisonous, then the, sometimes I was thinking, this planet, oh, so many things, not just the, the, the meat diet. It's the alcohol, it's cigarettes, it's the drugs, it's the poison. Is the war, is the, uh, is the laboratory cruelty, is animal cruelty everywhere, not just in the, 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 the slaughterhouse, yeah? Yes. Yes. And the cruelty to humans and domestic violence and children abuse, adults abuse, you know, just so many things in this world. and. Many places are so damaged and ongoing kind of disasters, typhoon and, and floods. And I don't know if we have ever had so many disasters like this before. I don't think so. And they still cling to that bloody, dripping, bleeding piece of meat in their mouth and call that food. Don't even care if, if anybody else dying around them or children suffer. And poverty and everything everywhere. So don't ask me how long it takes or where will it be. I'm asking the same question like you are, okay? Yes, yes. Master. So maybe you can answer me after you research all that. Yes, Master. Yes, yes, after yes, Master. you see all that in the report. Yes, Master, there is a science fiction story in which aliens came to Earth and saw the cruelty of bullfighting. So they caused all participants in the stadium to experience the pain at the exact time that the bull felt it. Yeah. And uh, as a result, people willingly stopped bullfighting activities. Yeah. So similarly, uh, Master, is there a way to momentarily awaken people's empathy to feel the immediate suffering of the animals? Um, oh. The karmic retributions and sufferings in hell are not immediate, and thus people don't realize the consequences of their actions. Oh, we are doing it, heavens are doing it. Wow. But they go back and do it the same next time, next minute, next second. Yes. Yes. Remember the Christi Gavai Sutra? Some Bodhisattva asked that all the Bodhisattva, all the Buddhas are helping and rescuing all beings 
even from hell. But when they go back to have a better situation, they do it again. They commit the same mistake again, okay, more or less. That's why Christy Gaba forever stay in hell now, still. Because they have been poisoned by Maya, okay? And they have been planting this kind of so-called brain chip, yeah? Like you plant some chip in uh, in the people's body or the dog's body to identify the ID. It's like that. So I want this all finished, all together. But I don't know if I can do it all in, in my lifetime, okay? Yes, that's why I told you my time is very precious. Yes, and that's why I hate it when somebody tries to bother me just to get attention or asking nonsense or anything just for their selfish purposes. Yes, yes, yes. That's why I don't have patience for that. I did not. Okay, now, yeah, it cannot always uh, be done in a large scale because people will die immediately. If you use mind control, brain control, then people will not know how to react in normal life. Yes, Master. They have to awaken themselves. Otherwise, if you control their mind and their brain like that, then they will be doomed. They cannot function anymore. And you can do it maybe temporarily, and then, okay, people stop. Next minute, you release. Then they go back doing their stuff again. Yes, yes Master. Unless they are brain dead. It's complicated. It's not that easy, okay? Because the humans uh, uh, make up. <laughs> it's not a toy. It's not a robot. Yes, yes Master. Oh. There's also the power of the mind behind it as well. And the karma, yeah? Yes. Understand. The karma force is gone so that they don't pressure them to do more or to to add more trouble for their karma, except what they have to do. Yes. yes. And the maya is gone. But there's still something in the people's being, in their mind, in their brain, that cannot immediately all be cleaned up or they will die. Yes. yes. Even disciples, they still have to go through some karmic consequences. Because if the master clean all up, then they have no reason to live here. Yes, 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 yes. Master. Right. Any more questions? No, that was the last question, Master. Thank okay. you very much. Are you happy? You want to ask any extra from the answers that I told you? Anything that you still not clear in your mind through the answer and or through the question? Or you want to ask more? No, we're good, Master. You're good? Yes, Master. <laughs> Not enough brains to ask, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Took you one month for all this, just 17 questions from all of you people. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I say you are a bunch of goodness, but uh, not a big bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Even then, you know, okay, never mind. It's good that you ask questions. I promised to read you some stories, and I wanted to, but oh, I tell you what. If I could, I would, okay? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, because I wanted to tell you things through the stories, yeah? Yes. And then you might have more material, more inspiration to ask for more. Yes. yes. But I just cannot make it up to now. Yes. yes. Okay, I just want to say goodbye now, and uh, I wish all of you the best. wish all of you can be more in tune with uh, spiritual power so that you can feel more elated, more inspired, more creative, and more happiness within yourself. Thank you, Thank you Master. Okay, see you next time. Thank you, Thank you Master. Perhaps, okay? Yes, we can only count our daily blessings because we never know what tomorrow brings, okay? Yes, yes. yes Master. All right. God bless. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. And thank you, all of you also, for working diligently wholeheartedly and unconditionally and cooperatively. May you really feel the love of the Master, Power and God Almighty. Okay? Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Ciao. Ciao.